One of the keys to making sure you have a great final product is taking the necessary steps to prep your skate deck before painting. Always make sure you have a protective mask when sanding. The dust produced when removing the gloss coat or paint from a skate deck can be harmful if breathed in. I suggest using 80 grit sandpaper made by 3M for your first run. It'll save you time over other types of sandpaper. I often go over the deck with a second run using a less coarse grit sandpaper to smooth things out before priming. Next, you're going to need some painter's tape to tape off the edges of your board. This is another important step in creating a sleek final product. Make sure that the tape completely adheres to the deck or else you might wind up with some primer slipping in between the cracks, in which case you'll have to sand it off later. Now we're ready to lay down some primer. I suggest using a different mask designed specifically for filtering fumes. These are relatively cheap and available at Home Depot, so pick one up before you start spraying. My favorite primer is Molotow's Urban Fine Art Primer. In this particular video, however, I'm using Montana's primer. Both these brands are a little pricey, but I think the quality comes through in the brightness of color you get when applying paint. I've found that I get the best results by mapping out my piece with a drawing before beginning to paint. A light grade pencil, like an H or 2H, is preferable, but your average pencil can do the trick as well. Having some handy tools on deck to keep lines well rounded or straight, depending on what you're going for, is a great idea. A protractor, an artist's compass, and a ruler are just a few ideas of places to start. But sometimes, just going freehand is the best answer. All right, I've worked out a drawing I'm happy with. I don't get too invested in detail as I'm going to be working towards depth and complexity while I'm working with color. Now for the fun part. When it comes to painting decks, I like to use Posca paint pens. In my experience, Posca and Malatow's pens are of the best quality and blend nicely together. One of the great things about these pens is the fact that they leave a smooth surface when you have finished your painting. Having a variety of tip or brush sizes is important when it comes to adding color and dimension to your piece. That being said, using traditional paintbrushes and acrylic paints is a great option as well. I typically wait to add shading and highlighting or outlining until I've come to a point in which I think it's necessary to help me maintain an organized appearance in my piece. Occasionally, I'll color everything in on an entire piece before getting to this step. It's important not to smudge your own work, so be aware of your paint as you continue through the process. You can follow me on Instagram at brent underscore music and art, and if you have any questions, feel free to DM me or shoot me an email. Now it's your turn. Have fun and make something rad. <laughs>